Whenever a preacher says he witnessed a miracle, a few questions should always cross your mind. The main one being, where's the proof? Well, recently a preacher claimed to have that proof. Like, real, tangible, irrefutable proof. And I'll go ahead and spoil this video for you right now. He did not. Not even close. But catching the lie wasn't necessarily obvious. And I want to show you what he said and how we know he's lying, because maybe that will help you spot this stuff moving forward. Here's some brief background. The guy on the left here is Pastor Perry Stone. He's best known on YouTube for being the guy who once checked his phone while speaking in tongues. Yes, Lord, have your way, have your way, have your way, have your way. Uh... Anyway, he does a show where he speaks with guests, and recently he invited a fellow preacher, Nick Walker, to share the incredible miracles that Nick has personally witnessed. One of those stories involved a man whose hand wasn't working properly. Nick said the man had nerve damage that was so bad that he could not use it. The man, we were told, also had a withered hand. But, as the story goes, that man got baptized. And as soon as that happened, God took control and healed everything. Here is Nick Walker explaining the problem and the miracle. And then uh, wow. you've seen in infants how the gaps between the, the bones, they have to grow into those gaps, mm -hmm. you know. And the infants will have them on top of their head and in between all the joints will, and growth plates. Well, this young man had gaps in between all of his knuckles, mm. all the joints in his hands and fingers. So he couldn't and use his hand? He could not use his hand. As he told me, he couldn't remember the last time he had moved it. Mm. And so as soon as his head wow. come out of the water, his hand was loosed, and he began and to... And everybody saw this now. Everybody saw this. Everybody saw it. It's a miracle. Now, already a few questions should come to your mind. Where are this man's medical records? I want to know the name of this church. I want to see the video. I mean, someone had to take video of this, right? I mean, it's a baptism. That's a big deal for believers. How could there not be documentation of this? But no, we are not going to get any of that information. Instead, Nick Walker said he had a different kind of proof. Because after this man was healed, he apparently walked into a hospital and got x-rayed specifically because he wanted proof of his healing. And for some reason, the hospital just did an x-ray. As if that's something you can just walk in and request. But okay. We have an x-ray to look at. That's not nothing. Here is Nick Walker showing us the x-ray and describing what we are looking at. So they x-rayed his hand and they, what they found, and this is on the before and the after that he sent me, was that the Lord had totally realigned his bones, closed the gaps, and then in other scans, which I didn't have those other scans, but in the other scans they found that the nerves were actually restored and he was able to use his hand again. And even the, the hand looked crooked and then the x-ray is it shows how the Lord had put oh my his wow, realigned his bones. And so, so his hand was so restored. So what happened with the cancer? The, so the, the doctor the, said, I've never seen anything like this. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. But again, you, being a smart skeptic, should have some questions. For example, how come we're only seeing the after picture and not the before picture? How come that x-ray doesn't show the patient's name, or the date, or the time, or the doctor's name, or the hospital's name? How come it just says figure one? Where are the other figures? <laughs> I've had x-rays, they never looked like that. And here's one more question that should really make you think twice about all this. And credit where it's due, it was my buddy Kyle Mantila at the website Right Wing Watch who first saw this connection and alerted me to it. How come, if you do a Google reverse image search on that x-ray, you find that the exact same image appeared in a 2018 Scientific Reports article published by the journal Nature 
about Chinese children who suffer from something called Cashin Beck disease. Seriously, in 2018, a major scientific journal published a paper that included this image. Which means these are not four glimpses of one dude's miraculously healed hand. Those are four different hands of Chinese kids ranging from a 7-year-old boy to an 11-year-old girl with and without that disease. And by the way, the disease those kids suffered from has nothing to do with nerve damage or having withered hands. X-rays, of course, don't show damaged nerves. Here's the bottom line. Either Walker thinks we're too dumb to question his claims of a miracle, or someone lied to Walker because they knew he was too dumb to ask questions, and was also probably dumb enough to spread the lie to a wider audience by using the always uncritical Perry Stone. Whatever the reason is, someone on that side is lying. This is not a miracle. This is a straight-up con designed to make you think God exists and that miracles are real. They're tricking you. And as far as I can tell, not a single Christian close to them called them out on it. By the way, I reached out to Nick Walker Ministries on Facebook to ask them about this. I told them I had a question. They responded, we can answer. What do you need? And I said, why are you lying about this x-ray? And I sent them a link to an article I wrote about it. And I know they saw it. I got the red receipt. But they never responded to my question. That video with Perry Stone, however, was taken down from YouTube without explanation. No apology. They are all just hoping no one notices. Which is a weird way to handle what you once suggested was definitive proof of God's existence. Christians like these guys are such liars. All they have to do is admit there is no tangible proof of God's existence. They could just say their faith in God is just that, faith. But they don't. They pretend there's proof as if that makes their beliefs more credible. But we know there is no proof. And if anyone tells you otherwise, your job is not to just accept their anecdotes. It's to challenge their claims. It's to demand rock-solid, irrefutable proof. Or, if you want to have some fun, it's to figure out where the lie is. And sometimes, they make that really easy. <laughs>